This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Starbound Race Mod Spotlight. Today we are taking a look at the Roka race. It's this one right here. It is a race of uh, canine humanoid things. So, you know, get your furry on. We're going to go through the usual. We're going to go through all the colors, uh, outfits, all of that stuff. If you don't want to see any of that, click the link down in the description. It will jump to all of the other stuff that this race has to offer. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, the different belly colors that we have here. So we're just going to go through all of these and, uh, you know, about your usual options, nothing too crazy. There we are. We were back around and now we're going to go through the fur color. It's pretty much the exact same as you saw. You can make matching. You can, you know, have an entire, uh, solid color. Like we start with here, all pink, uh, just so it's easy for me to, uh, remember and, uh, get through them all. Okay. So let's go to the green here so you can see now we're doing eye color it's that tiny tiny little pixel right there let's go through the eye color and uh it's the exact same colors that you saw for the well i think we already went around a couple of times for the fur and everything else okay so uh you know of course you can uh, mix and match and you don't have to have a solid color we're going to do some some crazy like that there. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so then we have the details, which is the ears and the face. So we're gonna go through those. We got uh, like little pug style nose or bulldog style nose. I'm not sure what this is. The, it changes the ears, but like the center of the ears is still sticking out. That one looks weird to me. And then we have just like a straight slope nose and normal ears and we have the pug face or boxer face whatever you want to call it the smush face with uh, the weird ears and then we're uh, back around to the normal one there now we're going to take a look at the clothing options there's not a lot there's really not a lot of clothing options so you have your sleeves so there's that where it covers your face and gives you some sleeves and uh, then you have just plain sleeves without covering your face and then you have nothing and then for your outfit you have nothing and you have this outfit that's it the cool thing the really cool thing i like about this is if you create a character with nothing so if we create this character right now the way they are uh you start with invisible clothes that you can then move to your cosmetic slot if you want to show whatever armor you're wearing or what have you so i thought that was really neat so now we're going to go through the coloring here and it's pretty much the same colors as your fur options so there you go same thing with the outfit color and it just changes the like outer cloak area and it's the same stuff as the fur options. Okay, and then of course you have your personalities and uh, you know moves your tail ever so slightly, shifts your legs around, that's about it. Okay, so as usual, I already have a character created, so let's go take a look at it. All right, here we are with our character. Uh, so first thing we're gonna take a look at is crafting stations. So there's some crafting stations up there and you're gonna need those to get to everything else. So here they are, they're the Cobolta, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, as usual, uh, refiner and it refines your ore. Then you need the Roka Assembly Lab and the Roka Gun Depot. So that's your main crafting stations. And like none of the vanilla crafting stations have your racial stuff. So let's get full bright on. We can brighten everything up and see around in here. So we're gonna take a look at the crafting stations. This is your first crafting station. This holds your, your melee weapons, your armor, and some lights and a bunch of decor stuff like doors and uh, hatches, wall antenna, different stuff for your ship, a console, custom bed, custom turret, just all kinds of different little odds and ends. Um, so different doors, a couple different options for your doors. And there's the turret plus some bulkhead blocks. Then we have two different types of grappling hooks. We'll get into those here in a bit. And then all of your different clothing. So that's what's in this, this one here, the assembly lab. Then this is specifically just to refine ingots because this race has its own custom ore, which is uh, this ore here. And then you can like use that, mix it with other stuff to get different types of ingots to craft things. And then we have the weapons depot. You can actually break down guns. You can break down pistols and different stuff like that uh, to create 
different types of weapons. You can see you just need some parts. Uh, that one takes a slide pistol and some uh, metal. So for all those guns that you find out in the wild and different chests and stuff like that, if they're the ones that are in here, you can actually break those down to create better versions and stuff like that. They go all the way up to tier eight. And then there's different types. There's a sniper rifle, pistols, uh, you know, auto rifles and auto shotguns, pump shotguns, different stuff like that. Okay, let's take a look at the ship real quick because I almost forgot to take a look at the ship. we got an awesome custom ship here. Pretty neat. Uh, there's a lot of empty space here in the front. Really cool. Your um, teleporter isn't where you would expect it to be. When I first logged on, it kind of messed with me a little bit because you expect your teleporter to be like here and then you move up here in the front of your ships like up here and your captain seat and all that is there. But your captain seat and everything else is actually behind your teleporter. So you start with your normal starting items, nothing special there. Uh, your sail, of course, is a custom sail, which is cool. But then you have to go down here through the hatch. And that, I gotta say, I don't really like these hatches. They, they kind of annoy me a little bit. You, you're gonna have to create ladders to each of them because you can't jump through half of them. They don't auto open, but they are auto shut, but they auto open. I don't know, maybe it's just I'm not used to them. I don't really care too much for them. I would prefer they just stay open, uh, but you can remove them as you see there. It's uh, shaking around so you can remove it. But anyway, so this is your captain's chair down here underneath your ship in this like little cool area here, which I think was really cool. I like that they did that and you can jump down here and like check stuff out and all that stuff. This is your, your bottom. You can't go any further than this, but you're gonna need a little captain's area here. And of course, this is where you put your fuel at. So I thought that was really cool. And then we can come over here. And so that's more towards the back of your ship. You do have a lot of room up here in the front of the ship. So yeah, all right, well, that's, that's pretty much it. Not as big as other ships that I've seen. At least it doesn't seem as big as other ships. Maybe it is, maybe it's just distributed different and that's why it seems a little less space, but uh, I don't know. I'll let you all decide. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, if you play with this, if you download it, check it out. Let me know what you think about the ship. Do you think uh, it's too small? Do you think it's about the same size as the others? Yeah, let me know. Um, anyway, so your flag is this right here. You can get to it right here. You don't get to it in the C menu. There's no flag in the C menu. You go to your, your crafter here and where is it? Right here, your transmitter. That's your flag. So it's gonna cost you 500 pixels. All this stuff here, just gonna cost you pixels, which is kind of nice that you don't have to don't have to build it. Your swords, of course, are gonna cost you the racial ingot. Uh, one thing I like about the, well, I kind of like about the armor, but don't, I'm a little torn. I like it, but I don't like it. So if we take a look at your tier one armor here, so this is gonna be your head piece, this is gonna be your chest piece, this is gonna be your leg piece. Uh, they may be a little bit different, uh, maybe rearranged, I'm not 100% sure. You can't actually see the rest of it here, just says armor, but um, you get the idea. Each piece is separate like normal, but if you notice over here, each piece has its own stat. So I actually have some here in my inventory to take a look at. I have it equipped here. Uh, I have the head armor then you have your chest armor, then you have your leg wear. So your leg wear has your energy, your chest has your defense, and your, your head has your health. So that's kind of cool that it's it's separate, but at the same time, it doesn't allow you to mix and match pieces. So your, your leg is always gonna be your energy, and your chest is always gonna be your defense. If you take a look here, I can print out defense from a couple of different ones. We'll print that one. We'll print that one and we'll print that one. And you can see that they're all, all chest armor. The other thing about it that I kind of like is that they don't, they don't show anything. That's it. You can see there, that's, that's your armor. You're wearing, I'm wearing armor. And if I take it off and put it on, nothing changes. It covers nothing. They're like chips or something, um, which is kind of cool because then you can just wear whatever cosmetic armor you want and that becomes your armor. And they have uh, cosmetic armor that looks like armor, as you can see here. Oh, also I started, here's the um, invisible stuff, like I told you, because I started with the, the no costume and you start with the invisible chest piece and the invisible leg wear. All right, so let's go down below here. I have a bunch of the different cosmetic stuff 
Well, actually, I actually have all of the cosmetic stuff laid out for you. So this is the first one. This is like the armor for the race, I guess. This has a light combat armor sleeve that you can swap out for if you don't like the heavy. It doesn't really change much. I don't really like the sleeves because they don't move with your character. If you see here, see, see they're staying still. They're not, they're not on my character which I don't really like. It it bothers me a little bit. So uh, yeah, and that's like that with both of them. Now the leg wear, as you can see, I'm wearing the leg wear. That works just fine. Uh, you just can't, if you wear the those, they, yeah, I don't like it. So the helmets are cool though. I like the helmets. So we have the, that there, the pilot helmet. And then we can move on to this next outfit. Now this is a full on outfit here. As you can see, it's covering all of them, but it leaves your head exposed, even though you have a head slot that's like a scarf. Uh, then you have your chest wear, which is your sleeves, and then the cloak covers the rest of you. And of course, this cat is gonna follow me and be super annoying. Then we have this next piece here, which is the wings and a different scarf. This scarf actually covers your face and then like some cool looking goggles. I like those goggles. Then we have another uh, headpiece here. This is the light pilot, really only changes this little tiny, see this little cheek right here? It's all it really changes and a backpack. And then we have the uh, tack heavy helmet. And then we have the Spelunker helmet, which has a little light. And then we have the Excalibur helmet. So just a bunch of different helmets to choose from. The, the Shark Rod helmet. And last but not least, the EVA. Also, your custom pet is a cat, which I find kind of hilarious. You're a dog and your custom pet is a cat. So, uh, and uh, I just placed some of this other stuff so I could show you. The doors are automatic, which I like that they have automatic doors. So that's a custom door that wasn't here. I actually, you know, printed that out and placed it. Your custom turret. And then of course a custom bed. And they also have these little custom lights here. Let's get Fulbright off of here. So there's these little custom lights. I thought those were pretty neat. And if we go down here, let's actually pull one of those off the wall. And I'll show you how much it lights up. We'll come down here and we'll place one on the wall down here. Maybe, there you go. So you get a decent amount of light. Also for those wondering, I forgot to touch on it. You could, This is actual armor armor and it does provide light. So the speed lunker will give you light as you see here. Uh, we jump up here, gives you light directly in front of you. And, but you have to sacrifice whatever armor you have. If you have, top tier armor that's more than 12, like this one here, gives you 50, you're sacrificing some health. So it does have some health on it, but you're sacrificing some of that health for life. So that's something to keep in mind if you wanna wanna use that one. The rest of these, the rest of these are purely cosmetic. That's the, that's the only one. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, grappling hooks here. So we'll take a look at the grappling hooks and then some of the weapons. So the difference is the, the two-handed grappling hook or the single-hander, uh, it doesn't go as far. So I'm shooting it straight, you can see we're not connecting to anything. So now we're going to go for the two-handed rifle and you can see we connected to the door over here. So you just get distance. That's the difference between having the two-hander and having the single-hander um, where you can actually dual wield and you know Spider-Man across ceilings and stuff like that is uh, it's a distance thing. All right, let's take a look at some of the other weapons. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but we'll take a look at some of them. We have the auto rifle. And uh, it's got crazy DPS, 550. It's uh, it's it's 10. It's it's tier 10. It's pretty crazy. This tier 10 as well for the auto this auto rifle, and it's 962. Like crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, the flashlight is its secondary, nothing special. Flashlight secondary, nothing special. And uh, then we have the uh, sniper rifle. Really slow shot. No secondary, nothing, and uh, 825 DPS. Then we have the shotgun, and it's uh, freaking tier 15. So you get some OP stuff, OP weapons, and I mean, look at that. That's that's insane. And his DPS is 154. Secondary, nothing special. Uh, then we have a little uh, silencer pistol. Pretty standard fire rate, nothing too crazy. And, uh, oop, 
put in the wrong slot. It's DPS is 225, a tier 8. Like, crazy OP high stuff. Then we have a tier 5 uh, melee weapon, 37 damage. And uh, it's, it's a sword. Nothing too crazy. Spin slash. You know, normal sword attacks. Uh, then we have the Type X, which is your highest tier, 68 DPS. And I don't know why you go for the melee. Like, this is the highest tier melee, and it's 68 DPS compared to any of these guns, which is much more crazier. Like, I don't I don't get it. I don't know why you'd go melee when you could use the guns and just pretty much one-shot anything. So, there you go, top tier. So, that's pretty much all there is. I mean, there's some other little odds and ends, but I'm going to let you download the race and check it out. You know, you can look at all the different uh, stuff that's in this tab here. And uh, we, you know, went through the close, all the difference between each of the armors. They go all the way up to t t tier 10, essentially tier X. But yeah, all right, well, that is going to wrap it up for this mod spotlight. Hope you all enjoyed it. Before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all of your support. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to help support this channel through Patreon, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.